Hey folks, it's Professor Fiari. Today we're going to be looking at decibels. What a wonderful thing. It's a term that many people are familiar with. When you talk about uh, going to a concert or something and, oh, it was uh, 127,000 decibels and it was a great time and my ears are still bleeding. We're going to take a closer look at this. Right? What, what are decibels? What are they used for? So what I've got set up here, first let me explain this. Um, I've got Python shell opened up. I'm going to use this as sort of like a calculator, interactive calculator. And then over here I've got uh, my little open office math editor, equation editor. So, you know, these kinds of things over here, you can't really do um, subscripts and superscripts and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do over here, and hopefully we'll make some nice looking kinds of formulas and so forth. So the first thing is, what is a decibel? Well, basically a decibel is a logarithmic based ratio. So we use it for things like voltage gain, power gain, um, sound pressure level. Now there's lots of different things wherever I can express something in a ratio, right? Because after all, what's a gain? If I'm talking about a power gain, it's the output power divided by the input power. It's a ratio. So in its sim most simple form, the decibel, if you will, the precursor to the decibel, which is called the bell, B-E-L, uh, is just the log base 10 of that ratio. So we could say that the bell, I'm just going to write this out like this, right? the bell is just log base 10 of you know, whatever that value happens to be, like um, a gain, let's say. The problem with this is that the bell is too big. It's, it's too coarse of a measure. It's like trying to measure your height in miles. And you can do it technically, but it's not very practical. So we actually talk about the deci bell, one-tenth bell. So we essentially multiply this by a factor of 10. Now, instead of writing out decibel, we usually just abbreviate this as little d big b, db like that. Um, this, typically, we're going to start off with anyway, would be a power gain, g. So we could say that the decibel version of the power gain, we call that g prime, is simply equal to 10 times log base 10 of g. That's it. That's all it is. Now, to give you a handle on size, one decibel is a, roughly speaking, just discernible level in terms of uh, sound pressure. In other words, if, if I have a sound, you know, coming out of a loudspeaker, like a single tone, and it's uh, measured at, you know, 80 dB SPL, 80 decibels sound pressure level, and I turn that up, well, when it gets up to 81, or when I drop it down to 79, I should be able to just discern that it has changed. It's not a big change, it's not an obvious change, just discernible change. Now, the human hearing mechanism is uh, anything but linear. So that's just a very ballparky kind of number. It actually depends on what the frequency is, or the pitch, if you prefer, and just how loud it is, the sound pressure level itself. So at some frequencies and intensities, um, now, a dB is more than enough. In other words, you could discern maybe seven-tenths of a decibel. At other places in the spectrum, you know, you might need two decibels or more. So that one dB is just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Now, if we come over here, okay, and throw some values in, you can see where we're going. So I'm going to use a variable. I'm just going to call it g sub p. And I'm going to say that's a gain of two. So I've got an amplifier, you know, uh, one watt comes in, two watt comes out. And what I'm going to do is just print out a value for the decibel version. Now, this is the bell version. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop 
pop this again, use our proper formula, just say it's 10 times that. And what we come up with is a value of 3.01, blah, 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 blah. So we say approximately, right, here's just a, a nice little round thing to kind of remember, that a factor of 2 is basically equal to 3 dB. Right? Factors of 2 are 3 dB. If you go up or down, it's a factor of 3. In other words, if I go up, if I increase by a factor of 2, it's plus 3 dB. If I go down, it's minus 3 dB. Since this is logarithmic, right, multiplying and dividing turns into adding and subtracting. So if I have, um, let's see, an amplifier with a gain of, an uh, ordinary gain, that's, oh, let's say 5, okay, and there's another amplifier stage with a gain of 10, we would say, all right, multiply those together, that's 50 decibels, okay? No biggie. How do we do that in dB? Well, when I convert the 5 and the 10, we'll get decibel versions of these and we'll add. We could just come back over here and put that value in, right? I'll just forget using a variable here, and I'll just do this. Okay, we get roughly 17. All right, now, what are the individual pieces? So if I said, what is 5? Oh, that's roughly 7. What is 10? That's 10. Well, it's log base 10, right? That would make perfect sense. Okay, so that should be 10 plus 6.9897, or, you know, basically 17, which is what we saw up here. So down here, on my little um, nice-looking thing, I would say, okay, 5 is equivalent to 7 dB. And I'm going to add 10, which is equivalent to 10 dB. And that's 17 dB. All right, so we go from multiplying to adding. If I had an attenuator, you know, it was cutting a signal in half, I would lose 3 dB. So if you just remember two things, okay, I'm going to add something in here. Factors of 10, as we just saw, are going to get you 10 dB. So factors of 2 give me 3. Think about what's going down here. Using just these two things, you can come up with pretty good estimations for values. So, you know, the 10 is 10 dB. Fine. What's 5? Well, you think of 5 as 10 times 0.5, right? It's half of 10. So the 10 dB factor of 10 here would then be modified. You'd have to subtract 3 dB because it's 0.5. In other words, think of 5 as 0.5 times 10. So the 0.5 is minus 3 dB. The 10 is 10 dB, so it's minus 3 plus 10 is 7. Boom. There you go. 17 dB. You're never going to hear, if we're talking to communications, you would never hear this tiny little fraction of a decibel. You know, 0.01 dB, forget about it. You can't hear that difference. So just using this approximation, 3 and 10, that's sufficient. That's all we really need to do. Okay, so... To illustrate, suppose we have a gain of 400, all right? So I'm just going to say 400 can be written as 2 times 2 times 10 times 10. Now, the 2s are 3 dB each. Tell you what, let me put this on a separate line so it looks a little cleaner. And 
the tens are going to be 10 dB each. So that should work out too. Clean that up a little bit. So that should work out to what? 26 dB. Well, let's check it. So we're going to say 10 times log 10 of our original gain, right, which was 400. Now, as I said, this is going to be slightly off a little bit because this is not exactly three, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Okay. 26.02. Seriously, we're going to fiddle about a 0 0.02. All right. Because this is logarithmic, it tends to compress the dynamic range. So really big numbers, you know, we don't see a lot of change. If I had a gain of a thousand, you know, a thousand is uh, 10 to the third power. That third power is basically how many bells you have. In other words, it's three bells or 30 decibels. A thousand is 10 times 10 times 10. So that would be 10 dB plus 10 dB plus 10 dB. It's 30 dB. All right. What if I want to go backwards? In other words, what if I have a gain of uh, 13 dB? All right. So how do I write 13 dB? I would write that as... Think of it in terms of tens and threes now, but now you're adding them. You're not multiplying. Now, to turn it into ordinary form, the 10 dB is worth a factor of 10. That add turns into a multiply, and the 3 dB is a factor of 2. So that should be a gain of 20. Okay. Put that on a separate line. How do we verify that over here? Like, what's the inverse of this process? Well, on your calculator, if you look at log 10, it's going to show up as um, 10 to the x, right? It's the exponent. Because what is log? Log base 10 is the is the value you have to raise 10 to in order to get the, you know, the argument, the original value you were looking for. So if I just raise 10 to that power, I get back the original thing. In other words, if we were to say print, I'm just going to use the one that's already here. Okay, so take 10 and raise it. Remember in Python, we can do a double asterisk to get an exponent. Um, raise that to, in our case, 2.6. Well, 2.6020599999. Um, you have to turn, of course, the, the decibel value into bells. So you're going to unwind this. So we took the gain, log 10, then multiplied by 10. So now we have to divide by 10, take the anti-log. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 10. There's my 2.6 for my 26. Okay, or if you want to be a little happier about it, we'll say it's uh, 2.602. 0, 06. Okay, that's pretty darn close. And we'll see what we get. All right, 400. Just as we originally threw in here. So let's just double check this. All right, that 13 dB should give us a gain of, of uh, 10. All right. So 13 dB divided by 10. 1.3, and let's see what we get. Well, 19.95, right? Virtually 20. Okay, so far so good. Great. Now, this is all power. What happens when we shift over to voltage? Well, you might recall that power varies as the square of voltage. So if I just do the same thing, then a doubling of voltage would give me 3 dB change. But in the circuit, a doubling of voltage would actually quadruple the power. In other words, two factors of two, which would be a 6 dB change. And I don't want to have to have like a, a power version of decibels and a voltage version of decibels. I want, I want just one. So the way we deal with that 
is to take that square and just include that as a multiplier, right? So exponents and logs turn into multiplies. So if I'm going to do a voltage version of this, I'm going to reuse this, right? So if I have a voltage gain, right? So a sub v, it's going to have to be twice the size. It's going to be 20 log 10 of a v. So factors of 2 are going to be 6 decibels, and factors of 10 are going to be 20 decibels. So if we were to rework some of these things, right, if I had a voltage gain of 5 and a voltage gain of 10, and that gave us 50, right, 5 would not give me 7 dB anymore, and the 10 wouldn't give me 10. The 10 obviously is going to get me 20 dB down here. And what about the 5? Well, we could still think of that as half of 10. So the 10 is 20 decibels, and the half is a negative 6, so this should be 14. Now you're probably noticing, yeah, everything's just twice the size. Yep. Okay, so this should be 34 dB. What about our 400? Right. Factor of 2, factor of 2, 10, 10. You work these out, and what do we have? Well, the factor of 2 is 6 dB. Factors of 10 are 20 dB. And when we add it all up, 52 dB. And if we go backwards, what do we wind up with? We would do the same thing. We would take the value divide it by 20 in this case, and then take the anti-log. So, if I have 13 decibels, and we divide that by 20, we're going to get 0.65 over here. So, a gain of mm, just a little less than 5. Okay, now how could you have approximated that? Because that doesn't work out like perfectly, you know, with like factors of 2 and factors of uh, 10. But it's pretty close. You know, um, you could think of that as um, 20 minus 6. It's a little less than 20 minus 6. Because the 20 is a factor of 10 in voltage gain, and the 6 is a factor of 2. So that would be, you know, a gain of 5. But you are, in fact, a little bit lower than that. Instead of 14 dB, you're looking at 13 dB. So it's going to be a little less than 5. All right, if you need, you know, the accuracy, well, just get out your calculator. But, you know, hopefully by now you're realizing that just using these, right, a factor of 2 is 6 dB, a factor of 10 is 20 dB for voltage, a factor of 2 is 3 dB, and a factor of 10 is 10 dB for power, you can approximate values pretty quickly. So if we had, you know, let's say we had a gain of, a voltage gain now of, you know, 500, okay? Uh, let's get rid of some of this. So I've got a gain of 500. How do I write that? Well, I would think of that as half times 1,000. So what's the half? Well, the half is going to be minus 6 dB. And right, we're going into logs, so the multiply turns into an add. Um, and the 1,000, right, that's 10 to the third. So each one of those factors of 10 is 20 dB. So you can think of that as you know, 3 times 20, or 20 plus 20 plus 20. But either way, it's going to be... 60 dB. So the end result is 54 dB. Let's try that. So I want to take my, my 500, right? We're going to use, again, this formula because it's voltage gain.
Okay, virtually 54 dB. Beautiful. What if I have a voltage gain of 46 decibels? So 46 decibels is 4.6 bells. Okay, again, doing voltage gain. So we're gonna raise 10 to the appropriate power. 46 is 4.6 bells divided by the factor of two is 2.3. Two hundred. Does that make sense? Well, think about it. Forty-six dB. You could write that as forty dB, which is twenty plus twenty plus six dB. Okay. So what does that work out to? Well, twenty and the twenty. That's ten times ten. So that's 100. The add turns into a multiply, and the 6 is a factor of 2, and we're looking at 200. There you go. Okay, so this needs practice. You just have to sit down, get a calculator, you know, whatever, um, convert back and forth. Voltage gains, power gains, right, from decibel form to ordinary form, from ordinary form back to decibel form. You want to get really good at this. Because the next thing we're going to look at is how we deal with this in lab. And the really convenient thing here is going to be that we can measure voltages, powers, directly using meters in decibel form. So there's a decibel version of volts, a decibel version of watts. And the nice thing is you can just measure, say, the input value to an amplifier and the output value of the amplifier, and the difference between those two things is the gain of the amplifier. Or, super convenient, um, most meters that will do this decibel measurements will allow you to set the input voltage as a reference. So that becomes sort of a zero dB value, right? Zero is unity in decibels. Negatives are loss, positives are um, gains. So zero is unity. Then when I go to the output of the amplifier, whatever I read is the decibel gain of the amplifier. So if the input's zero and the output's 12, then the output's been boosted by 12 dB. That is the gain. And we won't need to go back into ordinary form. We just keep everything in decibels. And then once we're kind of comfortable with that, we can start looking at Bode plots where we start plotting amplifier gains in decibels rather than ordinary form versus frequency. Okay, so next time we'll look at how we can take these and, um, you know, make, it, make like I said, a, a voltage or a power, could also do current, but sort of voltage is the biggie, um, decibel version of those. All right, see you then.